From Channel 3, this is an Eyewitness News Update. Hello, everyone. I'm Irene O'Connor. And I'm Mark Zinni with a look at some of the day's top stories. Ahead of the 4th of July holiday weekend, there is a renewed sense of urgency to make sure everyone gets the COVID vaccine. Officials say they're very worried right now about the spread of that new, highly contagious Delta COVID variant. Uh, it's the fact that we have a grossly more infectious variant now, probably at least twice as infectious as the original variant of a year ago, that makes this an imperative once again. Now, so far, state health officials say they're seeing more and more cases of this Delta variant. A boil water advisory remains in effect for some areas in Willimantic and Wyndham after a large water main break Thursday night. People in Wyndham, North Wyndham and Willimantic are being warned to prevent them from using potentially contaminated water. To give you an idea, it's probably you know, 10 feet wide. Maybe I think right now they're about 15 feet deep and the hole was about 120 feet long. That's how much it washed out. It was a big crater. The town is awaiting water sample test results from the area, which are expected Saturday morning. In the meantime, the boombox parade, which takes place in that area of town, will go on a schedule July 4th. Also right now, the soggy 4th of July weekend, certainly putting a damper on state fireworks displays in communities everywhere. Several shows have already been postponed, including Norwich, Madison and Stamford. Again, this is changing by the minute, so you want to keep tabs on the full updated list anytime around the clock on our Channel 3 app. Well, for Saturday, we're going to be challenging some records for the lowest uh, high temperature on a record for July 3rd, 60 to 65. That is downright chilly for early July. Showers are in the forecast as well. As we look at the uh, three day weekend, Sunday, mostly cloudy, a few showers. It's going to be a little bit better, 70 to 75 in Monday. That's when summer gets back on track, partly sunny and warmer. Highs 80 to 85. Then as we look at the uh, seven day forecast, Tuesday and Wednesday, we're going to be right up there near 90. High humidity. Humidity too, showers and thunderstorms both days, and then Thursday and Friday will be cooler. Highs around 80. Again, a chance for showers both days.